Hello everybody. Welcome to Joe's Barbecue House. We have another windy, cold day, 27 degrees here on this Sunday morning. I'm going to go ahead and use these Overmont cast iron Dutch ovens for the first time. I have never used a Dutch oven before, but I have love cooking on cast iron skillets. So my plan is today is to use my Weber kettle. And Dave Tomaska, sorry if I uh, fudged your name there, Mr. Dave. Uh, I went to high school with him. He's a cool dude. Uh, he made me this uh, 3 16 quarter, quarter inch uh, plate steel. It has handles. It's, this plate is upside down right now. But I'm going to put the hot coals on top of that and set the Dutch ovens, or one of them, on top there. Because we are going to make... <coughs> Some sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin sandwiches made from my homemade smoked cheese and homemade sausage. So here, we're going to go ahead and get this side here lit. As you can see, it's got some coals here. I'm going to get lit up. And I'm going to keep my coals in this kettle here. And, of course, we'll be cooking in this one. And if I could fit the lid on it, I will. And I'll just leave these vents wide open because it is cold out. Uh, but we'll just see how it goes. So let's go ahead and get this lit. These lighter cubes are pretty cold. I don't know if they're going to want a light. There we go. That other one will catch. Set this right over the top. And once they start catching, I'll just spread them out on top of the rack. Okay, everybody. So the coals are lit. And I have them inside here. I'm going to shut the bottom vent because I don't want them going crazy on me in case I need more of them hot coals. I'm going to come over here. And we're going to set, so I believe I need 20, because this is a 12 foot, or I'm sorry, 12 inches across. So we need 24 coals. So we got one, two, three, four. Five, and one more. All right. What I'm going to do is just put the lid on this here. Like I said, I shut the bottom vent. And that's just to store the coals for now. So what I want to do is we're going to take out 12 of these. And we're going to take out three more. Here, I want to stack these on the bottom. I hope I'm doing this right, but we're going to soon find out. And before I add any oil or anything, I want to preheat this oven. Let's go ahead and see how this is going to pan out. Uh, that'll be fun. Pretty sure I should have more. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that lid on. But let's try this out here for now. Now we're gonna stack the rest of them here up on the top for now. Now I know there's a lot of videos on cooking with Dutch ovens, which I haven't watched a lot of them, but Steve Bruns, I do appreciate you sending me that link to that guy. I will be watching his videos. I just haven't had a chance yet, but I promise to do that. Okay, this is what we're going with for right now. I'm gonna put this one here. Eh, screw it. I think that's a little tall for the lid unless I could try to move this into the center. Let's see. I just, I'm just going to test and see if I can put the lid on it. Absolutely. Now this will be my wind deflector here. And as you can see, this is another one of my uh, dual vent lid mods here. So I think this is going to work out great. So let's go ahead and, uh, again guys, it's my first time messing with this. So it's not hot yet. I'm just kind of preheating. 
So let's move all these over here to the center. Sure doesn't look like a lot of coals, but we're going to find out if that's enough to get this baby heated up. All right. So as my wind deflector, we will put this lid on. We will let this heat up for a little bit. I have the bottom vent wide open. All the vents are wide open. And there you go. Hey, everybody. Just like to say, it's cold out here. It's windy, and I cannot wait to see how these Dutch ovens perform. I hope this uh, lid idea is a you know pretty good idea. I can get kind of an estimate on what the temperatures are going to be. But if you're interested in this product, I'll put the link down in the description. And like I said, I paid for these items. There is absolutely, I get nothing out of it if you'd like to purchase these. I am brand new to the Dutch ovens. Not new to cast iron, though. I love cooking on cast iron, and I should have uh, this summer when it gets, or spring, whatever. Well, they say it's spring, but it's still 27 degrees out here. Uh, I will do more videos uh, on cast iron. Like I said, if you're interested in purchasing these Overmont uh, cast iron Dutch ovens, I will put the link down below. All right, I think enough time has went by here. So let's go ahead and check this. Now this top vent's reading 200, but I'm sure that cast iron oven is uh, much hotter. So let's go ahead and start out by adding a little bit of oil. Let me grab my cool tool here. I'm just gonna set this lid aside. And we're gonna add us a little bit of oil. Wait a minute or two here and let's get this uh, oil heated up. Just kind of testing to see how hot this thing's getting. Today's ingredients, there we go. Today's ingredients uh, will be some red pepper, some yellow pepper, some cheese, we got some uh, white onion, and uh, some garlic. I also have some sausage, homemade sausage I'm going to put in here. But for right now, I want to go ahead and add these vegetables. And this is one, one of the red peppers and uh, one yellow pepper, if you guys are wondering. This is a whole onion here. I'm probably just going to add half of it. All right. And let's add all this garlic. All right, we're just gonna let these cook down a little bit. Not too much. I don't know if you guys can hear that sizzling going on in that pan. Got some nice, wonderful colors going on here. Like I said, we'll just let these cook up for a little bit and I will be back to add the sausage. Here's just a close up on what we got going on so far. Got the yellow peppers, the red peppers, the garlic, and the onion. Like I said, we're just going to let this cook up for a little bit, and then we're going to add the sausage, which I have my homemade Italian sausage, and some chorizo I'm going to add to this breakfast sandwich. All right, so a few minutes that went by. Let's go ahead and check on these babies. All right. Hmm, already smelling great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is kind of put these off to the sides. And we're going to get our sausage in there. This is my homemade... Italian sausage that I processed here at the house myself. Uh, I don't believe I did a video on this, but one of these days I'll show you how I do it. Okay, here goes this chorizo. Let's get that up in there. I still think I should have more coals at the bottom, but we'll see. No sense in rushing it. You just want to kind of make sure that 
the sausage makes contact to the bottom of the pan here. All right, Oop, one more piece right here. Just curious to see, let's see, let's go ahead and, yeah, I hear the sizzle in there. Go ahead and get our lid put back on. Let's go ahead and put our windshield or wind guard slash lid. And I'll let this go for a little bit. And I think I'm gonna have to add more coals to the bottom of that Dutch oven. Uh, so we'll see how this all turns out. Like I said, this is my first time, so don't beat me up too bad in the comment session section anyway. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, we are back. I'm gonna go ahead and check these real quick. Here I brought a little pan here so I could set my uh, hot lid on. So I don't have to set it on my deck over there. All right. See what we got going on here. Yeah, see, there's not much cooking going on here. So I am going to add more coals to the bottom of this. This chorizo, this chorizo will probably break up, but when we go to add the eggs in here, it'll bind it all back together. The sausage should stay together. So we are going to add some more coals, and I shall return when that sausage is completed. All right, so as you can see, I added some more coals to the top. I blew some of the ashes off because I heard those ashes uh, well, doesn't help for the ventilation of the coals and I guess it could choke your coals out, I guess. And I added some more coals to the bottom. Oh yeah, see, we're firing up now. That's what I want to see. Go ahead and rotate. We'll mix on these vegetables. Everything's looking good. And I know you guys are probably frowning that I'm using metal in the cast iron, but I'm not scraping it that hard. The chorizo's looking good. Yeah, we're just about done here. Here pretty soon we're gonna add our eggs. I'm gonna, I took eight eggs and uh, whipped them up. I'm going to go ahead and add that to this concoction here in a little bit. Just want to get this all kind of mixed together. And I'm kind of liking this. Glenn File, he's in my Facebook group, Joe's Barbecue House. Uh, he's going to give me one of those stands for these uh, Dutch ovens. He said I could have it, which is pretty cool because now that uh, when it warms up here, I'm going to go ahead and build me a, a fire pit down there below on the ground and set myself up with that hanger and do some cooking down there as well all right guys the sausage is looking good here soon we will add the eggs so what i'm going to do right now Let's go ahead and rotate this puppy for some even cooking. So I'm just gonna turn it halfway. Okay, the lid, as you can see. I'm gonna rotate this the other way. There we go. All right, guys, it's coming out better than I thought. I'm not sure if anybody ever seen it done on a Weber kettle, <laughs> but hey, I had to get creative. I really wasn't sure how I was going to do this, but Dave, Mr. Tomaska, you hooked this up with this plate and I love it. All right, now it is time to add the eggs. Oh yeah, all that stuff's cooked down. Soaked up a lot of that grease there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be wonderful. Okay, so here all I have is some, I have eight eggs uh, seasoned with some salt and pepper. Let's just go ahead and pour that right over the top. Oh, 
All right. Kind of stir that in a little bit. And when these eggs finish up, I shall return. All right, everybody. So a few minutes that went by, and I want to go ahead and add the cheese. And keep in mind, this is my homemade smoked, cold smoked cheese. And we're just going to lather it right on the top of this. If you haven't had cold smoked cheese, man, you got to follow my recipe on it. It is so good. And here in a minute, guys, I'm going to go ahead and Butter up some English muffins and get this baby rolling. Let's go ahead and get the lid put back on. Let that cheese melt down. Matter of fact, let the kind of stir this up a little bit. There we go. It won't be long now. And we're going to have one heck of a breakfast sandwich. Look at that. Okay, as a matter of fact, the eggs are done. What I'm going to go ahead and do is ash out, take these holes out. We're going to dump them in here into the pit. Go ahead and put the lid back on. And I'm going to take this off for now and set it aside because it is completed. The carryover with the heat will, uh, oh, here you can see where I added the extra coals. But the, uh, the remaining heat that's inside that pot will uh, definitely melt that cheese. So let me get you guys on another angle and show you what we're going to do next. Okay, what we're going to do here is got these cut up and put some butter on them. So let's get some of these babies toasted up so I can get a sandwich made and show you what this looks like. Let's get these over the fire. Shouldn't take long to toast these up. I'll do the rest of these later. I shall return. Okay, so we went ahead and toasted our buns, or our English muffins, I should say. Let's go ahead and take this lid off. And look at that. Well, let's dig in. Let's see what we got here. Nice stringy mm, cheese here. Let's go ahead and get some on here. It's going to make a few sandwiches. Let's try to get all that goodness in there. This recipe I found on the uh, Barbecue Pit Boys website. I've been making this recipe for years. Um, I just uh, modified it, you know, a little bit myself. They use different types of sausages and stuff like that. But like he says, you make it the way you like it. And that's the way we do it here. All right, let's go ahead and fold these over. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a, get a taste test here. Give you guys a little close up of what that looks like. You see that very well? My God, doesn't that look good? Oh yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get you guys a close up on this. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Go ahead and look what's inside. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these and take a bite. Let's see what we got here. Mm hmm. Yep, <clears throat> the sausage, the peppers, the garlic, that smoked cheese, mm, 
My God. What a sandwich here. So while everybody's inside watching me eat, I'm going to go ahead and toast up some more of these uh, English muffins and get these in the house because they're waiting to eat. Look, yeah, if you only seen. Okay. Hey, guys. I hope you like what you saw. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. And comment below your thoughts on how I did this. Um, thanks, and have a great day.